So let us try to summarize the way we did the operation in two steps. The first step is the inner product to calculate the vector F1 and the second step is to calculate the outer product to compute the vector F2. Let me try to represent those procedures again but this time in the graphical form. Now as you can see in the graphical form the graphical form of equation 9. If you can see equation 9 basically just in case you forgot equation 9 that we talked earlier equation 9 is right here you see equation 9 like I told you you need to take the inner product the second coefficient matrix time the vector f that will give you the intermediate vector f1 we call it level 1 vector after that we take the first coefficient matrix multiply with the vector f1 that we just calculated and the result we call it the vector f level 2 that will give you essentially the answer for the unknown vector c tilde that is equation 9 so let's look at this equation 9 again with the viewpoint from the graphical way okay so Let's take a look. Now, if you look at this picture, let's con look at equation 9 and specifically consider the case capital N is equal to 4. For now, we assume that the number of data point capital N has to be in the form of 2 raised to the power R for now. So if N is equal to 4, it means R must be equal to 2. Okay? So R must be equal to 2. So here in this picture, the way we start is initially you have a data, which is the value of F0, the value of F1, the value of F2, and the value of F3, they are given. These are the value of the periodic function F at some discretized time. Now, after that, we want to compute the intermediate vector f1 vector f1 based on the inner product calculation that I told you earlier so basically we want to compute f10 f11 f12 and f13 that in here we call the vector computation at level 1 l equal to 1 now in order to compute f11 in order to compute f11 we need to use the data from F0 and F2. So, like for example, in this picture, it say F10 is equal to like F0 plus F2 times the function W raised to the power 0. That is like the same equation like we talked earlier in equation 9 except I present it in the graphical way. Now if you notice if you after you compute F10 later on when we compute F12 the computation of F12 also require the use of F0 and the s same F2 that we need earlier for the computation of F10. So in other words, what I'm trying to tell you is that if you compute F10, then you can obtain F12 almost for free. The only thing different is instead of adding a product of W0 time F2, we for computation of F12, we just say subtract the product of W0 times F2. Similarly, the computation of F11 will be based on 
the formula would say F11 is equal to F1 plus F3 time W0. And similarly, after we compute F11, we can compute F13 almost for free. The only difference is instead of plusing the product, now we subtract the, pr the product. Okay, so this picture here show you the computation of F1 vector level 1 in the graphical way, which is the same thing like we said earlier with equation 9. Now, after we finish the computation in the vector F1, we can move on to the computation of vector 2, level 2, L equal to 2. Now, to compute F2, vector F2, that means we have to compute F2, 0, we have to compute F2, 1, F2, 2, and F2, 3. Very similar manner, in order to compute F2, 0, we need to have the value from F1, 0, and the value from F1, 1. Together, that F1, 1, you have to multiply with the weighting factor, W, 0. But on the other hand, assuming you just finished the calculation F2, 0, the computation of F2, 1 is essentially for free because it also involved with F1, 0, also involved with F1, 1. And the only difference is the product. Instead of plus the product, now you have a minus of the product. And the same story go on for F2, 2 and F2, 3. Now, this is the graphical way to present equation 9 for the example where you have capital N equal to 4 data point. What happens when the capital N becomes bigger, you have a larger data point? Well, this is another example. You can see in this one, we assume that the capital N, the capital N, in this case is equal to 16. And remember, we also assume for up to now, capital N can be expressed in the form of 2 raised to the power r. So in order to have the value of n equal to 16, the power r must be equal to 4. Now, just like in the previous case, when the power r is equal to 2, when r equal to 2, it means you have to compute two intermediate vectors which is called level 1, L equal to 1, and level 2, L equal to 2. Therefore, in this situation, when, because we have R is equal to 4, that means you have to compute 4 intermediate vector, which I call it, we have to compute vector F1 corresponding to level L equal to 1. Then after that, we have to compute vector F2, which I call level 2. Then we have to compute vector F3, correspond to level 3. And finally, we have to compute F4, corresponding to level 4, which is the same thing like level R. So how does it work in this case? Well, the, the pattern is very similar. We start with the given information. So let's say we know this value, F0, 0, F0, 1, F0, 2, F0, 3, all of those values are known based on the data point, okay? So all the way to F0, 15. These are the 16 data point that we can obtain the function value F0 at a certain discretized time, going from 0 to 15. So those are the 16 values that we know. So from those 16 values, how do we compute the unknown vector C tilde? Well, the first thing, like I told you, we have to compute the vector F1. That means we have to compute F1, 0, F1, 1, 
F12, F13, F14, F15, F16, F17, blah, 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 all the way to F115. We have to compute those values. Now, if you compute F10 and you refer to the equation 9 formula, similar formula, equation 9 that I mentioned to you earlier, the computation of F10 will require the data come from F10, I mean F00, and F08. However, the computation of F18 also require the same data F00 and F08. And the only the only thing different between the computation of F10 and F18 is that in the first case F10 the formula for F10 will be equal to uh, F00 plus F08 multiply with the function W raised to the power 0. But on the other hand, when you compute the computation for F18, instead of adding F08 multiply with the function W0, now you just subtract that product, that's all. That's the only difference. And similarly, if you compute the computation for F11, that will require the, the data from F01 and F09. At the same time, the computation of F19 also require the same value the same data for F01 and for F09. So again the computation for F11 and F19 they are almost the same. Instead of adding a product, F19 you have to subtract the product. So to summarize it for the computation of the intermediate vector F1 in level 1, the way it works is we compute the first eight value F11 up to F18 and then the next eight value we can skip it and the reason we can skip it is because like I told you before when you compute F10 you also compute F19 almost for free when you compute for F11 you can compute F110 is almost for free and when we compute F12 we can compute F11 uh, t t t t 10 almost for free so that's why we only compute the first 8 for F1 and then the next 8 you can skip now also notice another very useful observation when we compute let's say